In this video, we're going to look at how important and influential the views of parents and teachers are on a dyslexic child. This video is called She's Smart. It's about how a Harvard graduate grew up with dyslexia. It's a story by understood.org about Laura Shifter telling her story. She tells a story about how she would sit and read with her sisters and prefer the pictures and the stories because she couldn't read so well. She would sometimes memorize the stories and pretend to read the stories. When she was at school, she would read out loud and her peers would laugh at her. And then she got evaluated for dyslexia. It was interesting that after the evaluation, the school started to say to her parents, don't expect much of her academically. But her parents thought, we don't believe you, and said that she was smart to her she went to school and she noticed that her teachers, when they adjusted for her dyslexia and accommodated it, she started to do well in her classes. But when they had a fixed approach, she didn't do so well. And this has inspired her to pay it forward and pursue teaching. And she's now a Harvard graduate in the special education policy department and helping other children find out that they are smart. So we've used this t-shirt analogy of what's written on your t-shirt to show what's written on your t-shirt can make a huge difference on your approach and the influence on a dyslexic child. So the question is, what's written on your t-shirt when you hear these sorts of things? This is inspired by understood.org. I want to share a little bit about my reflections on this. So what I can see here is there's three key moments. The moment she was evaluated for dyslexia, what the parents thought and the teacher's approach. And these are key stages in every dyslexic's walk and journey. First of all, the story about sitting with her sisters and so on is, is is a classic scenario where we're all comparing ourselves to the others round about us and how important getting an evaluation for dyslexia is to start to understand the reasons for the way your brain thinks. The next thing is the experts. How influential the experts are around about us and what voices and approaches the experts bring is very significant and occasionally sometimes the experts out of maybe even teachers out of good intentions say don't expect too much and are scared about sometimes dashing children's hopes and aspirations by adjusting their expectations of themselves and doing it with parents and so on but Parents are often the ones who know us the best. And we see in this story, like so many others, the parents understanding the intelligence and the ability and the gifts of their child and advocating and standing for them. And that's why we've got on these t-shirts, she's smart. When on her own t-shirt, there's a question mark. She doesn't know much about herself yet. And she's still discovering there's a blank t-shirt, as it were. There's a blank attitude towards her education still there. And the parents took their role on and spoke the positive attitude towards their child's way of thinking and smartness. Hearing this from a parent, even when it's not said all the time, just having it written on your t-shirt, as it were, sort of radiating out is such a help. Then the adjustments. And we've drawn this as an adjustable spanner. We're making small adjustments to match the size and dimensions of the nut or the person that is involved can make such a difference for a teacher achieving the result that they want. And this is an encouragement to other teachers that the, the tools we have are adjustable. And for dyslexic children, sometimes we need to adjust that ratchet right to the max and make it as wide as possible so it can fit on 
to the massive potential that dyslexic children have in their imagination, creativity and ability and coming with a fixed spanner that kind of roughly fits most children just does not work for a lot of dyslexic children because they have different capacities. And seeing how Laura Shifter wants to pay it forward and pursue a career in education, it's just wonderful to see how now, in effect, she is now wearing that t-shirt of your smart on behalf of other children. And this cycle of past paying it forward is continuing. So the question is, what's written on your t-shirt? And sometimes we don't realize what's written on our t-shirts until we look down and have a look and look at our underlying approach to a person or a child as an educator or as a parent and how influential that sign is on your t-shirt to the children around about you. So I hope that was helpful. Those thoughts were, were helpful. If you want to know more, go to mymapstudio.com. And this video is inspired by a video by understood.org. And I highly recommend you watch that video. It's only a couple of minutes long. A great little story Laura shares. Thank you. Bye.